we go. Of course, Party Book of Shadows. Happy Halloween, everyone. Now, I promised I wanted to uh, finish this game before Halloween. After playing Chapter 1, that was a fool's dream. <laughs> but let's continue on. Wait, I don't continue from here. I start off in the new chapter, too. Demise. Yeah, it's these two. I wonder if they remembered anything. Wait, isn't the teacher supposed to be with them? My vision was blurred and indistinct. Maybe it was all the blow to the head, or maybe it was because all my tears in my eyes. Okay, they just got here. I've been forced out through the infirmary door and tossed like a rag doll into the... Oh, okay. See the hallway. So this is after the, um, the entrance. And got tossed up. So my use inside the infirmary right now. So it's just right before the wall splat? No, wait. This is the wall splat moment. I could barely breathe and was completely unable to move. I wish I could slip away into unconsciousness, but my agony was keeping me in the moment. My abdomen. I put my hand to it without thinking, and a sharp pain flew through the palm of the swell. Looking down, the whole area of my body was soaked with blood and literally pierced by a by large pieces of glass, many of them the size of drafting triangles. Oh uh, no! They threw outside the window? I was certain some of them must have sliced all the way into my internal organs. <sighs> Why was this happening to me? It's Yuki. <laughs> Through my veil of tears, I could just barely make out the face of the young girl with unearthly blue glow around about her. She was looking right at me and seemed concerned. No. As she got closer, I could read her expression more clearly. She was smiling. Smiling and staring into my soul with one good eye and one empty socket. <laughs> All at once, I was pulled up into the air with incredible force by the other two faintly glowing children. So this is moments before the wall splat. One of my arms was being held by the spirits of the young boy, while the other was being held by the spirit of what I assumed to be a little girl. The headless girl. I couldn't tell for sure since everything above her above her drawing was missing, leaving no facial features to read. Her head was like half a half eaten fruit with bottom teeth place of seeds. Ah. I could see her vocal cords flutter and her throat contract with every giggle. Based on her size, I must estimate she was still early grade school age. She held my arm tightly and her shadowy silhouette gazed at me innocently. Her voice box gyrated a little and her throat opened and closed rhythmically producing a gurgling sound that might have been a chuckle. She then said, Whoa, that's barely understandable. 
All these children were now staring right at me as if they were studying an ant's movements just before squir squishing it with their thumbs. In one single rough motion, I found myself flipped 90 degrees downwards while I was facing the ground. I sensed myself moving forward rapidly. Oh no! Uh. So she was splatted upside down. What a strange sensation. I was now staring up the wall from the floor. There was a large slathering of chunky red bits strewn all over. The their dull earthen tones clashed heavily with the wall's worn out gray hues. It looked almost as if someone had winged a juicy pomegranate against it with all their might. Except this was no pomegranate. It was a person. It was me. My limbs were ripped clean off and my belly had burst open into com uh, conglomerate conglomeration of glistening blood, entrails, and miscellaneous bodily fluids. The force of the impact was enough to scatter parts of me all the way to the ceiling. It, I was an unsightly mess of slimy globules and viscera. So Mayu is still conscious throughout this bit? The smell was intensely foul, but then it was a conglomeration of raw meat after all. Never mind the fact it was my meat. I was, and I was just a head, a severed head, torn off at the neck on impact, staring up at what was left of me in my last moments of consciousness. Wait, there was a head? That's a rough start to chapter two. But it doesn't make but since this is a time loop that things may have ended up differently. <laughs> Wait. What? Mayu? Oh, sweet Jesus. Mayu just remembered her last moments from the first loop. Oh, you're playing Course Party What If? Uh, apparently that's what Book of Shadows is. It's Unless you considered the wrong end to be the true end. I just realized I put in the wrong t uh, game on the uh, Twitch stream. I'm just gonna update that. Jib cusses. Shit, I can't watch this late at night. I want you though. I'm conflicted. Jibka, stay with me.
there was no response. There was only a deep, all-encompassing silence that hung in the air like fog. <sighs> ah! JFK says, I'm a faceless, anonymous person on the internet. Me staying won't help you not piss yourself. <laughs> True enough. Says, this is chapter two, right? Yes, this is chapter two. Demise. Oh God, the sound of giggling ghost children. Yeah, there they are. So you know to stay away from them now, right? Oh god, I'm in control now. We started right in front of the infirmary. I got the only one option. Don't go in. Ah. Good idea, Mayu. Okay, Shadows, episode 2 Demise. I think I'll buy episode numbers in yes. Alright, I'm in control. With Mayu. What's this? An extremely dusty, but from the looks of it, this is the sheet that goes on the infirmary bed. Okay, don't touch that door. Also, interesting that there's no label in front of the door. Normally, you would like see the word infirmary or something like that. Alright, since we're in control, let's save immediately. That sucks that the music stopped. Well, we don't need these safe files anymore. Alright. Blocked off, so we won't care. Door to the science lab is locked. Door is locked. All right, let's walk this way. There's a large hole in the floor. It won't be possible to go any further down this hall in this direction. At least there's no wires. The gap is so big that even a jump wouldn't be likely to clear it. And all that glass and everything. Oh. 
Oh god, a dead body. It's writing on the wall. There's something written in chalk. Smells so good. The smell of tasty meat. Where is it coming from? Uh. Can't check the cabinet. That's the door. Also don't like that there's silence in this room right now. Alright, let's look at the body. It was a young girl. She seemed to be in her mid-teens. She's wearing a school uniform, suggesting she was indeed another student from somewhere. But something wasn't right. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, I realized this young girl was very much dead. I wonder how much time has passed since she died. Externally, she still looked mostly intact. But her internal organs had clearly begun to decay, with various and sundry fluids leaking out onto the floor around her. Drawing in for a more detailed look, I noticed that her, both her eyeballs had been stabbed with pencils. Ah! Try dialing one one zero. Whoops, my monitor went out. Give it a moment to come right back. I tried dialing one one zero, Japan's emergency services, but the call wouldn't go through. So, Shami says hi. <laughs> Oh, I can look up. Okay. What the? Ah, okay, a blue spirit. Micro Miner 58 says, Wait, is he actually streaming? Because I'm watching an old video. Uh oh. I should be streaming. Okay, we have to hide. So we have to hide our body. That's an odd phrase. Are you the owner of this body? But I guess that's mostly correct. Shami says, I am also just a ghost. I am commenting in your chat in the past. He's not actually streaming. Ooh. Back to the future. It happens. Yeah, I wouldn't want people to see my body if my eyes were gouged out by pencils. Uh, it looks nice enough. I mean, it is a blue spirit, right? I mean, there was that one time the blue spirit turned into a red spirit because we pissed it off. 
I be best try not to piss it off then. Oh, so we have to go back and get the bed sheets. Alright. Okay, that block is. Okay, maybe that block is red because I selected it. Alright, grab the sheets. Pretty convenient. Take the sheet. It's not very clean, but it seems to fully cover you at least. Shami says SNES music. Macro Minor 58 says watching a nine hour course party bit. Okay, um, last week I, I wanted to finish off chapters four and five, and that ended up being a nine hour run. Not realizing those last chapters were really long. <laughs> but hopefully... Whoop. Wow. Apparently any button on this gamepad will uh, progress through the text. But yeah. Let's see the f how long this chapter will be. <laughs> Yes. Don't give in to the darkness. Because even ghosts can still be corrupted. Ooh, flashy bit. Ooh, paper charm. Another hole in the floor. Too big to jump. Okay, let's go upstairs. Well, it's packed tightly with desks, making it completely impassable. I don't know, you can probably pull it apart, or at the very least, climb over the banisters. Oh, 
死ぬまあたりが適任だ。わお、ノリシゲス、カイナブジャーク。机運ぶのも面倒そうだったのね。<笑>ジョブソーナイタダカラ、ナニカニツカエルカナ。タッドナッドナッドナッドナッドナッドナッドナッドナッド Okay. Take the loose board. That totally did not look like a pickable, pickable item. Alright, let's try to go downstairs. We can save any time. Best to save as much as possible before we make a decision. Set the loose board. Seems sturdy enough. It should be possible to cross here now. Facing down the stairs. Nothing here. Hey, a candle. A wall. No perspective in these、uh, scenes is kind of awkward. I don't want to go there just yet. Let's check the exit. Oh, the silence. Shoe lockers! All empty. Door exit. Note. Ah! I did not look down. Okay.、Uh, dead body. Well, I'll look at you last then. Doors frozen in place as if it was just a decoration law. It can't be opened. At least you can see through the window, unlike the last time. You can't even see through, it's just like pitch blackness. Unforgivable. I thought we were friends. I hope you die in agony. That's a poor girl, I guess. There are skeletal remains here. Whoever this was seems to have died a while ago, as the bones are already bleached white. Judging by the stature and clothing, this was probably a middle school girl. There's a blood stained box lying on the ground nearby, suggesting the likely cause of death. Blood stained box cutter! Okay, that's what it is.、Mm. 
Yeah, box cutters are still kind of freaky because they're so readily available. A student ID name tag is attached to the front of her uniform. Momiji Gawa High School. Hina Hirose. That's a new person, right? Ooh, a spirit. Wow, that last line came out pretty clear. Can I talk to you? Mumble, mumble. Okay, it's doing its thing. Alright, let's step out. Ah, uh, ghost kid! Stay away from this ghost kid because that triggered a, a burial bad end from the first game. Sucks too, cause like it came out of nowhere and just like immediately attacked you. Just as I was about to leave the entrance way, the spirit of the little boy suddenly materialized in front of the door. I remembered his face. Good idea. I immediately ducked into the shadows of the shoe cubbies, doing my best to stay out of sight. Get out! 